when it comes to mobile operating systems there are only two names that we hear android and ios android with a market share of 86.1% and ios with 13.9% make a staggering 100% leaving absolutely no space for a new operating system to come in but today we are going to speak about three innovative yet powerful mobile operating systems that are trying to change this game so let's get this video started There is a popular saying that don't just start a business solve a problem most of the popular companies follow this funda google this solved a problem facebook this solved a problem amazon this solved a problem but wait why are we talking about this right now as i've already told you android with 86% market share and ios with 14% market share completely occupied the smartphone os market So where does KaiOS fit in? KaiOS made its operating system for featured phones like Nokia 8110 or Geo phone instead of smartphones, which is a great move. There are nearly 3 billion plus population in the entire world who doesn't have access to internet. These people might use featured phones, but still they don't use internet and apps like us. So KaiOS is bridging this gap. and making these existing smartphones 4G capable and web apps yes they are using web apps in all these featured smartphones why web apps because web apps are lighter they use less storage and app makers don't have to make separate apps in order for them to run in kaios they can directly run it with this strategy kaios was able to gain instant success and the biggest part is google funded kaios wait what Why should Google fund a company that is going to be a instant competition to them? Why? Yeah, let me explain. Assume it this way: there are 140 crore Indian population, out of which consider 80 to 90 crore people have smartphones, but still there are 50 crore people who doesn't have internet and were not using Google services. And these are the people on whom Google has never really concentrated upon. And now, with the integration of Google services in KaiOS, these people also would start using Google services, and this would in turn generate revenue to Google. And this is the reason why Google funded KaiOS, Fuchuzi OS, an operating system that is made by Google. But Google already owns Android. Then what is the reason behind creating one more operating system? Let me explain. Unlike Android and Chrome OS, which runs on Linux kernel, this Fluxio OS runs on Zircon. Zircon is a micro kernel, and the advantage of using Zircon is it can be scaled to any device, absolutely any device, like your laptop, tablet, mobile phone, smart TVs, anything. Okay, imagine you did some work on your tablet, and you left it in between, and once you open your laptop, it resumes from there. It sounds cool, right? But the thing is, technology is really cool. But the only thing that I'm doubtful is Google is trying to build a much, much bigger ecosystem when compared to Apple. So once you go into it, it is very, very hard for you to come out of it. And this is the early build that's released. As you guys can see, it can be scaled from laptop to mobile, etc. And it also has this material design to it. There is this recent apps where even though you keep an app in the background it still runs like the one that you see on the screen we also have a split screen mode which can be activated by dragging one on another there is also a tabbed mode where apps can behave like google chrome tabs and according to google this fluxio os is highly prioritized in terms of security which they say as software that run receives the least privileges that it needs to perform its job the other thing that google focuses with fluxio os is updatability the drivers from one version will support the drivers of another version so that google will be easily updating the versions without updating the drivers this is a nice feature to see also if you are worried about apps because apps can make or break an operating system just like it did with windows Don't worry. Fluxio supports all native Android apps and it will have all Google Play services enabled by default. After all, it's a Google OS. The next one is Puffin OS. 
Unlike the Kai OS which actually targeted on the featured phones, this Puffin OS actually targets on the low-end Android smartphones, which does not run Android that well and also runs very slow with the Android Go. As you can see from the video, one is running Android Go and the other is running Puffin OS. And the Puffin OS actually looks mostly like Android because it's built on top of Android. The only bigger difference is that Puffin claims that they are better at speed. The concept is great, but execution is pathetic. So let's speak about the execution. How is Puffin OS faster? Say you want to load Instagram in your normal Android phone, your mobile sends information to the server, server responds with data, the mobile renders it and displays it. It's a stride for our process. But Puffin on the other side takes the info from your mobile to the Puffin server and then the Puffin server takes the info, pushes it to the Instagram servers and once it receives the information back to Puffin server, it renders the page in the cloud and then pushes the rendered page back to your mobile. So instead of your mobile rendering for you, a cloud server renders it. Now what's good and what's bad with this process? Yes, what's good is that this process is faster, we can accept it. But what's bad is that all the data from your mobile will be pushed to the server, the Puffin server and then it will be rendered in the Puffin server. So whatever the information that you enter, the security passwords, everything will be pushed to the server and server then executes it. So all the details, all the bank details, all the Instagram accounts, all the Facebook accounts, all the passwords, everything will be stored in Puffin server. This is a big security threat. And when a person asked Puffin about this, Puffin accepted that they will have access to all the passwords because they have to render the page online. And also they have access to all the passwords for 100 days and 100 days is not a small time. And also there is one more big issue. For example, if their Puffin server is down for an hour, for two hours, for three hours or something happened and the company shut down. If the Puffin server is not working, your mobile here will not work. It is completely dead because whatever the information that you enter, your mobile will not have the power to render it. So it, it should depend upon the Puffin server. If the Puffin server is offline, that's it. Your mobile is gone. So yeah, Puffin OS is not something that I would recommend. So guys, this is my list of mobile operating systems. Like the video if you really do and also subscribe the channel for more amazing technology content. I'll see you in my next video.